Hi guys and welcome to episode 8 of the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns BPL. As you can tell we have two informed silver players in the team and after the last episode we did manage to get ourselves Ozil. He is the first lock-in in the team and uh, makes it look awesome. So he's definitely going to be one player we're going to be abusing to try and get some more players in the team. This episode today though is going to be trying to build towards the future. That means going for some non-rare players, uh, starting to bolster up to get the big gold players in at a later date so guys if you would like any ultimate team coins make sure you check out fifacoinstash.com their link can be found down below uh, all the links are uh, down below as well as not only that but there's some other ones as well if you want to partake in the wagers you can follow me on twitter which is at bates 87 and i do do them on xbox one any other console i'm not doing anymore so we get off to a nice lead making it 1-1 but instantly he hit back bringing it back well, 1-0, sorry, and he hit back instantly, making it 1-1. Didn't expect him bringing it back, because I felt like I was, uh, well, quietly dominating this, this game. Uh, but we did have a little bit of fun uh, this game, messing around with Ozil and Zaha, and obviously Gabi Abonglohar as well. He was coming to the aid. So, guys... After last week's five episodes and the finale to the Road to Glory Wade Showdown... Um, Serie A, which was released on Saturday. If you've missed it for the two double wagers, make sure you do go and check it out. With this uh, ep at Road to Glory, though, instead of making it the odd three or four episodes a week, I am going to keep it at five episodes a week. I'm going to keep the release time at 9.30 UK time. So we have a consistent series. If you guys think you haven't seen one that week there, there definitely will be one up there for you guys to watch. Um, because the way I've set out last week's Road to Glory, a lot of people enjoyed it. So we did take a nice 4-1 win and then he started to come back. Uh, very annoying, gets a nice goal there to make it 4-3 and did send the shitters up me. But unfortunately, he did not manage to get any more goals and the result stayed at 4-3, giving us the upgrade of Diaby. So we get to put the first Arsenal non-rare player in the team. Now, I also want feedback from you guys to let me know what non-rare players I should be looking for getting in, in the team now i'm going to choose one of them the one i am going to choose is altidor the usa striker from sunderland uh yeah he is from sunderland uh, he's the only non-rare player i want in the team but i want you lot to let me know the rest of the ones you want to see so we're gonna go for monreal now the left back now the reason i am getting rid of uh, well hoping to get rid of him is because i want my man um, well, I just think he's too attacking. Butner's too attacking. So I thought I'm going to get Monreal in the team. As you can see, the team which the guy did line up with, it was my unbeatable team. But unfortunately for him, I was on a little bit of form. And it took me to the 83rd minute to break down his defence, which was pretty pretty hard and annoying really his, his team is solid it is actually a team i did build the unbeatable team 150k unbeatable team you guys if you haven't seen it make sure you do check out for silver squad builder it's very strong and very hard to break down but in the in the 90th minute it finished 2-0 uh gabby bunglahar extend the lead to two and there are the stats there he had two shots one on target all game and we had dominant possession it was just so hard to break through the gaps so that gives us the upgrade of monreal into the team and leaves us open to the left back a rare left back but i'm not sure who you guys want to see in there we have the choice of evra um baines inform baines at a later date obviously uh cole and um any other ones you can think of so you have to let me know in the comment section below which one you would rather see maybe even cliche uh, i would go off what foothead say with the most liked but then that would be not engaging with you guys as uh, the team we're building is obviously going to be stemming from you so the last game of this episode is for churches i can't even say his name i didn't be, wasn't able to say his name in the squad builder he plays for tottenham he is a high paced centre back and he's a decent Romanian de uh, defender. We played with him in the best possible Romania team and we got off to a nice early start there. Bit of a deflection, bounced out to Gabi Bonglaha who does tuck the ball away making it 1-0 but an absolutely instant reply, some terrible defending by me. I have recently been saying that I need to stop passing the ball
ball out but I do seem to continue to pass the ball out and it's costing me a lot of times as you can see here some nice delicate passing by himself uh, does make it 1-1 on the 21st minute but he does hit me straight away um, straight away after that like it was ridiculous his passing was just so OP um, but I made a huge defensive error as you can see here the ball was going out I slid to keep it in and he does extend well does manage to bounce back to him and he extends the lead to 2-0 now this guy was very very difficult I must point that out one of the toughest opponents I have played against in a long time but in the 87th minute we did get another deflected goal back well another uh, rebound goal from Ozil making it 2-2 in the 87th minute and taking the game to extra time. Now in extra time we got a lucky again the ball bouncing around it's deflected out straight to Jerome who's not going to miss there to make it 3-2 but he then did make a substitution. The substitution was Remy and also Shirley Scurley on the bench, uh, onto the team the two goal players which he never started with so he, uh, Remy getting the goal for him to make it 3-3 uh, very annoyed really he didn't really feel like he wanted it he didn't feel like he would deserve this but in the hundred and eighth minute he does catch me on a sick sick counter attack and there's absolutely nothing I can do I can't catch him I can't get close to him and uh, Shirley does put the ball away to make it 4-3 and I have lost another wager not impressed it's only 5k but it's 5k that I should not be losing that's for sure so there we have it guys that is the road to glory wager showdown series um, episode 8 over and done with we've got two more episodes remaining for this week we have one tomorrow and we have one on Friday so make sure you don't, uh, don't forget to check them out if we can hit over 1500 likes for this episode that'd be absolutely insane subscribe for more awesome fifa 14 next gen content and uh, check out fifa coin slash the ultimate team coins smash the like button subscribe comment and until next time guys have a very nice day and enjoy the rest of your night bye bye